AITA for only feeding one child frozen food. My son is Indian, and his friend, who is white, are both nine. My son brought his friend over after school on the bus. I messaged his mom and asked if this was okay and how late he was staying. She asked if he could stay until 10. I serve dinner around 8. So he would be eating with us. I cook a lot of Indian cuisine in my house because that's what I grew up making. My son told me his friend was picky and asked if I could make him something else. I keep fries and chicken nuggets for when my son has picky friends over. So we all sit to eat. And my son's friend seems happy with the nuggets. And they go to play after dinner. The boy's mom picks him up a little after 9. I get a text later asking why I fed her son frozen food when I cooked a fresh dinner for everyone. Else. I told her my son said the boy wouldn't eat what I was making. She said I should have made him something also instead of just getting freezer food. I told her I provided free childcare without notice. And her kid chose not to eat what everyone else ate. I continued that when I was a child. My mom didn't offer anyone alternatives to what was made. So he's lucky I accommodated him. She told me she wouldn't let her son stay with a child abuser anymore. NTA and HAHAHAHAH child abuser? Incredible. Glad this woman showed you who she is so you can 100% avoid her forever. I feel bad for the kid however. His mom is a nut job. NTA that is pretty entitled behavior on his mom's part. Not only did she not clear it with you first before basically forcing you to watch her kid for the night, but then she had the nerve to question how you feed this child that you didn't know was coming. NTA. I feel bad for that kid. His mom is going to alienate him from every friend he'll ever have with this unhinged behavior. NTA. Dot the mother should be grateful. Out of curiosity, did the child show any interest in the Indian food? NTA the woman sounds like a run-of-the-mill bigot who needed a free babysitter. Who on earth lets their kid get off the bus and go to a someone's home they do not know? Tells the parent they'll pick the child up at 10 p.m. and complains about the meal provided? Ha 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 you fed a child and he was happy. How tf does that make you an abuser? WTF. NTA by any means and honestly if you don't have to look after this kid and ergo deal with his crazy. Mother then that kind of seems like a win for you. Sorry your kid can't have his friend over though. NTA. What an entitled mother that woman is. I would have sent him home. You're a good person. NTA. You could tell her, he was welcome to have what everyone else had. But I was told he would not eat it, so I gave him something he liked. Feel free to send him with the meals you want him to eat or give me money to get them. Don't feel free to make his dietary preferences my problem and offer no solutions other than your hostility. You're welcome for the free childcare and meal. Child abuser? WTF? I'm sorry your son probably won't get to spend time with that friend anymore outside of school. Unless you allow him to go to his friend's place. That other mom is just extreme. You could have said you couldn't babysit or feed him and she should make other arrangements. You aren't a daycare nor a restaurant. NTA. You should have told her that she should have provided a fresh dinner for her kid. OMG. That's crazy. You don't run a restaurant. Chicken nuggets are not poisonous and I wonder if this parent lets their kid eat fast food? It was considerate of you to have an alternative. NTA. And to call you a child abuser is just crazy talk. NTA. That child couldn't have cared less about what he ate. He was probably really happy to have been able to eat nuggets. If you served him the food you made, he most likely wouldn't have eaten it. Definitely NTA. 
If the mother wants him to eat home-cooked food, she should be at home to cook it. Frozen food now and then doesn't do anyone any harm. It's not your job to make sure someone else's kid eats specific foods whilst in your home. She called you a CHLD abuser. Yet she wants her 9-year-old kid out till 10 p.m.? NTA. What you did was right. I would have been more than happy as the parent. What? Did she grill the child on what he ate and what everybody else ate? Sounds like she was looking for a problem. NTA that parent is rude. NTA. That lady is ridiculous. I would suggest telling your son he can't bring home kids anymore without your permission and their parents' permission first. For everyone's safety. She wouldn't let her son stay with a child abuser anymore. Well, that escalated quickly. NTA. NTA she expects you to cook a second dinner for her picky kid on no notice after babysitting him. From after school until 10 p.m.? WTF? Beggars can't be choosers. NTA. Now you know not to send your child to their house. Lord knows what kind of parenting he'd see or be on the receiving end of. For one asking for a child to stay until 10 at night is far too late and a total piss take. You fed them food you had to go put of your way to make just for them. The mother is deranged entitled and ridiculous. You deaf NTA. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.